We're going to explain how to curve text in Adobe XD. One, first you need to create your text box. Type in the text you want to curve. Two, next select the text using the selection tool, the black arrow. You'll notice that there isn't a direct curve text button like some other programs. Instead, XD uses a workaround involving shapes. Three, draw an ellipse or a circle. The shape of your ellipse will determine how your text curves. Make it as big or as small as you need, depending on how tightly you want the text to curve. Four, now here's the key step. With both the text box and the ellipse selected, go to the object menu in the top menu bar. Five, choose path and then select join. This will essentially attach your text to the path of your ellipse. Six, you'll likely find your text now conforms roughly to the curve of your ellipse. Seven, if the text is not precisely where you want it, you can manually adjust the text position within the ellipse. You can slightly move the text box on the ellipse by dragging with the selection tool. It's a little fiddly, but you'll get the hang of it quickly. Eight, to fine tune the curve, you might need to adjust the size and shape of the ellipse. Experiment with different ellipse sizes and proportions to achieve your desired curve. A more elongated ellipse will produce a gentler curve, while a more circular one will create a tighter curve. Nine, you can adjust the size of your text within the curve as needed. Select the text after it's been attached to the ellipse, and using the selection handles, increase or reduce its font size. One zero dot remember comma. You can always undo steps, control plus Z or command plus Z if something doesn't look right and don't forget to save your work. This process will work whether you are curving the text around an ellipse or another shape. The key is joining the text box to the path of the shape and adjusting as needed using manual tweaking until you get the desired curvature and position. Experiment and have fun.